Much of your business growth should come from repeat business or recurring revenue from your existing customer base. You can make questionable promises to close a single deal, but that's not how you build a business. If you don't own the company or you're not the CEO, you need to approach the sales department like it is your business. Your salespeople should know in advance how satisfied your customers will be one month or one year after their first purchase. They know this because they know what kind of company you are, how good your products and services are, and how good you are at standing behind everything you say and do. Make sure your salespeople aren't making promises your bank account or support team can't keep. It starts with letting your salespeople know your company can't realistically do some things just to get a deal if you can't. And they need to know you are okay with that. It may mean smaller, short-term gains, but it translates into happier, longer-term customers and profits. In my career, I've had several long-term customers come back to me for additional purchases because they knew what they would get. The truth and an honest transaction. Plus, they would often pay more because they trusted me. They learned from their first order that if there was ever a problem with their product or service, or an opportunity for me to offer them a lower price or better terms, that I would work to get what I could for them. It sometimes meant losing out on a particular deal because of budget constraints, but I always know with these particular customers that if they have a need for something I can sell to them and they have the money, they will make their purchase with me. And that is exactly the kind of salesperson and sales team you want to build. If you manage the sales department, coach your salespeople on building good, long-term business relationships. This is a great opportunity for you to lead from experience and by example.